up addicted to the fast life. Hey beauties, welcome back. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are well. Alright guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I created or rather how I achieved the wig I'm wearing in the intro. So if you're interested, please do keep on watching. Alright? Okay, so I already placed my wig cap on the mannequin head and what I'm doing right now is basically lining out how I'm going to glue my head down to the wig cap. So doing this method is just going to guide you and also make the procedure easy, alright? So that is basically all I'm doing right here. Alright guys, so I'm done lining out or drawing out the lines and this is what it looks like. So if you can tell, you'll see that I'm going to have like um, a middle part, no sorry, it's not middle, side part, but it's going to be like an um, inward side part, if you guys get what that means. But yeah, you're going to see how that will turn out as we proceed with this video, alright? So this is the hair I'm going to use and I got it from Afro Shop. All right, it's like 11 euros. You guys can tell it's written on the pack. And this is how it looks like. I like the fact that it has um, two colors and mixing both of them together just give me that beautiful highlight, all right? So I'm going to be doing this hair down with hair bond. And that is because I don't know how to use uh, hot glue yet. so this is how the hair came there's something I will be showing you guys later just um, just stay tuned okay so this is me basically showing you guys how I'm going to lay the hair down you know like I want it bob and if you want it flip that's going to be a different thing but for the sake of this video I want it bob and this is how I'm going to be laying the hair down all right so the next thing I'm going to now that I've measured it so the next thing I'm going to do is to add glue to it and to leave it to get a bit tacky and then place the hair on it and that is it all right so because i do not want to give a chance for anything or rather any mistake to be made or any hair to lift so i'm going to blow dry it just to make it stay properly And this is what I've done so far. So you guys are just going to see when my boy came and do his thing. Playtime is over. Honestly, I don't know what was going on in the head of 
um, hair beards. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, we had fun and that was cool. So this is what I'm going to show you guys, what I, what I talked about earlier. So if you want to make sure your hair doesn't flip, just in case you're going for bob, this is what you should do. So after unraveling this hair, all you need to do is just to split it immediately as it came, as it was folded, just like this. You're going to see me do that. Do it like that and then you're going to be in control. You're not going to find the hair flipping or bobbing in, in, in case um, in case of which one you're going. You get what I'm saying? So I just split it right away the way it came and that was a good one. Like it just gave me good control over the hair, basically. Alright, so I've gone ahead to add one color to the hair. Initially, I wanted to like um, just add the colored hair in um, here and there. But as I got to the middle of the hair, I decided to just do it back and forth, back and forth. You guys are going to see that as we proceed. So this is how much I've done so far. I'm just going to leave you guys to just continue watching because the remaining or the process I'm going to leave you guys to watch are self or it's self-explaining, alright? So getting to this point, what I'm going to do is to just apply the glue all over the space that is left over and then I'm going to uh, um, continue adding the hair or rather gluing the hair to the wig cap and I'm going to make sure they are as close as possible because this is the, the end part of it and I want it to be as full or close, yeah, as full as possible. So that's basically all I'm doing right here and as I'm doing it, I'm trying to cover up the front part I, I don't know how i'm going to explain this to you guys but just watch carefully you get the whole the whole thing all together we'll go
all right so getting to this point which is you know like the last step or i would say <laughs> almost the last step so i'm just cutting off the excess end from the hair and i'm going to leave that space to get a bit tacky before i will pinch it together you're going to see that very soon or maybe right now yeah but now i'm just brushing it just for you for you guys to see the beauty of this hair i really like the way i mix it together and it, it came out really beautiful so this is what i was saying now is well tacky it or rather tacky enough so i'm just pinching the both ends or the both webs together just to cover up that space and makes it make it look nice and appealing right so now i'm going over with the blow dryer just to secure everything or lock everything in <laughs> so that's all i've done so far and then i'm going to show you guys how it looks like because i tried it on like this before i did the next step which you guys will be seeing soon guys so you saw how it looks before i trim the hair or before i start to trim the hair so that is not the look i was going for so i decided to just you know to stick to what i wanted in the first place so now i'm just going um going on with my um this razor comb i got from amazon so every link of the product i, I used or rather i would say the product that i use that i have a link to I will put them in the description box so just check if there is anything you would like to get all right so now i'm just going with the razor blade and i'm just trimming the hair just doing it randomly there is nothing um like i'm not doing it in any specific order or whatever but all i just want is to get a nice shape or a nice hairstyle basically so that's all i'm doing right here So when I got to this point, I was like, okay, I think I did well. <laughs> I did well. So um, this is it, guys. And I, once I'm done with the trimming and all of that, I'm going to go with scissors and just cut off those tiny ends from the sides and just makes it look nice, you know, those normal things you would do. And that would be it, guys. This is it. I don't even know what to call the I don't know what to call the hairstyle, but yeah. If you know what to call it just drop it in the comment section below and this is basically it guys so i'm going to wear it and you guys are going to see how it looks like on me though you guys already saw something like that in the intro but yeah yeah this is it guys let me know your thought in the comment section below was this tutorial helpful please do let me know in the comment section below if you're here for the first time don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notification bell subscribe to my vlog channel Delia's vlog and also follow me up on instagram at Delia's empire check out my lash line guys Delia's empire lashes every link will be in the description bar guys don't forget to engage engage all right yes boy i'm coming so all right guys sorry for that guys <laughs> the little man needed my attention so this is it guys let me know your thought like i earlier said and this is what i'm going to leave you guys and until next time guys stay beautiful and be blessed bye guys i love you